back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Is my, my head on low on it? Oh, that's, that's odd. I had one in there yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully my... Uh, my subtitles actually stay this time. Last time they didn't. But we're gonna go to Dutch and do this Arthur, mission. Come up here. What if I don't want it? My audio broke, I don't like that. Okay then. <clears throat> and I just I could go hunt on a Pearson, but I don't think that's a good idea. So Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? But deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are gonna be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well... <clears throat> business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. You know, I've heard I that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. I don't know what would have happened if I chose the side of it doesn't boat. let you. We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. <clears throat> I don't know about that one, Dutch. Okay, follow me. Alright, so I didn't Thank you. Way. For what? <clears throat> for taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, oh my. took young Jack. I forgot I killed him too. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes <clears throat> to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, 
Is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. All right, boy. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Just to be safe, I'm grabbing my weaponry. Thomas, it is good okay. to see you, there my friend. Know. Hello, Mr. Bates. <clears throat> Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boat. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? <clears throat> you know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. Yep. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bring him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. <clears throat> Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. I'm well, sort of best damn gun you got. Dutch. This way. <clears throat> Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Arthur, dead? Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. <clears throat> this one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show <clears throat> you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of rep. I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Oh, I was playing earlier. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. You shouldn't be lingering here. Come on. I was searching there for you, man. I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> yeah, I figured out what that dead eye does. I think I want to like this dead eye much more. Whoa! Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Gator hunting, huh? Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. I'm going to put it. Think of something. Give me a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. <laughs> Should we just keep moving? <clears throat> I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I, I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Yeah, you're just telling me about a legendary gator here. Might come and hunt it later. Hold up. I'm the hunter. We both are like no shortage of <clears throat> Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. I'm uh, definitely hunting legendary gator, but that'll be uh, later. Might be an episode. I don't know. We really should have run into jewels by episode. now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes <laughs> open. Someone there! Hello? Hey! Someone there! Hello? Hello? Over this way! That must be him. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up what there? What the hell is my There's light doing? Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Now where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? 
Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Got the scab! It's over here! <laughs> Stuck! Fellas, Thomas. Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very <clears throat> happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding <clears throat> up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry. I got it. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. You want me to hold it under? <clears throat> Come on, put your back into it. Shit. He won't kill. No, I'm going mm. in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? Quick. <laughs> Arthur will go. I will? Quick, Arthur. Ah, you. I got my leg! I'm making my way. This swamp water is very hard to walk through.
how much ammo I, I think he's there. going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. God. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. <clears throat> I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever oh. is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Yeah, what I'm gonna do. Put every bullet you got in it. Cigar here? I don't mind. Okay! I think it's had enough! Are you yeah. sure? Jesus, can we get back now? <clears throat> You're gonna be okay, kid. <sighs> Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. Yeah. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Well, thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Saying so, you know, monsters is an understatement. Alright, anything actually? Really, I got silver. Oh, yeah. Playing game bird, playing streamy, can I do like any, no? Okay, I can make some bitters. Ooh, wait. Yes, please. I want poison arrows. Very smoothly just does that. Poison throwing, Oh, I should've kept the Orlando stage, huh? <clears throat> Alright, I wish I could go and buy those type of herds, but no, I have to go find them. That was the most random thing ever. Okay, well now we're outside St. Denis, I don't have to worry about going too far to get there. Oh, his mission did pop back up. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna be ending the video. I think I'm gonna head to my camp and cut my beard. Fix that. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, tell me if you enjoyed. I need to remember to stop clicking the damn home button when I'm talking, but, uh, till then, if you enjoyed watching me almost get ate by an alligator, like and subscribe. And, uh, I'm gonna be hunting that gator because I gotta get a little bit of, gotta get some revenge. 
Oh, I'm not gonna hunt it right now. I don't. What the fuck is over here? Let's study it real fast. Sneak real face. Midland water snake. Okay. Oh, you just took it right here. That's actually kind of neat. <clears throat> and if only skinning was that easy. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get that as a perfect one. But I got the talisman that gives me a higher chance of it being perfect when it is a actual perfect what's right there? Duck. Actually. Oh, that's a three star? Oh crap. Oh, it's a three star too. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, what fell? Crap, my revolver. Damn. Yeah, gator. Oh! oh. oh. Man, I saw your ass. Man, I'm out. I'm running. Now it's a two. I'm punching that thing. I gotta clean these off camera. Okay, I'm gonna... Got a little sidetrack. I'm gonna edit this part of this. Well... No, I'm not gonna edit this part of the video, but uh... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed me again, almost eaten by an alligator. You know what to do. What the hell is this thing? Okay. <laughs> 